Hey everybody, this is Sherry, and we are doing a hugs inlay card using Lawn Fawn and Alta New products. So let's get started. Now I'm not going to show you how I colored the image because it was the very first watercolor piece I did and I wasn't sure that I was going to use it but I kept it because it was like the first and it was so it was kind of a sentimental thing but I went ahead and finally decided that I thought it was okay to use now I did have to run it through twice because it is Strathmore 140 pound watercolor paper so it was really thick and I tried to do an inlay a few weeks ago and I completely got it butt backwards and it was just a mess and now that I figured it out I don't know why I made it so difficult on myself but now that I've figured it out I'm really enjoying them and I really love how they look so I'm just taking some scraps of white I had in my scrap bin and going ahead and cutting out the word hugs a couple more times <clears throat> and I actually get three layers of the word hugs and then the uh, floral layer would be on top and I figured out that if I go ahead and I put down my adhesive and then I lay one of the words in then I can just lay the floral pieces over top of it instead of trying to put it in take it out put it in take it out and figure out where everything went so that made it easier for me and here I'm just trimming this down to four by five and a quarter and trying to get it straight because I wasn't paying attention and then I'm going to take um, an eighth of an inch off on each side to get my quarter inch so that the word is still centered and <coughs> excuse me and I got my gray recollections cardstock and turned it into a hundred and ten pound excuse me gray recollections hundred and ten pound cardstock and turned it into an A2 size card front now this is an MFT more essential sentiment set and it actually goes with something else but it works good for I think any of your you know die cut words and um, because I think it was, I can't remember if it was meant for kind or something, but it just works great for anything. And so I'm just doing some selective stamping there. I've marked off what I didn't want with some post a note. And that way I didn't get the word hugs because I didn't want the word in there because I already had it die cut out. So it says, I miss your, and then the word hugs is the die cut piece be beneath it. And I do go over it several times because it was a very thin font and I really wanted to make sure that it was a lot bolder and stood out a lot better so I go over it I think three times before I finally decide that you know with my VersaFine Onyx Black before I decide that I think I'm okay with it and so I'm just getting everything out, <clears throat> bringing it up there, and I, I really, oh, I'm loving these <laughs> inlay cards. I just don't, I mean, woohoo, I'm, I'm having a ball. And if you look, you can see that I've already got one of the white ones down there. And um, so now I'm just layering the other white ones and then the top piece. Now I will tell you this, I only did three layers on this one. Even though I used the Recollections 110 pound cardstock, it did not stick up as high as my other layers or my other cards have in the past and I don't know it made it I knew it was there but it was something that I think you wouldn't catch right away which is kind of neat it's like a little surprise inside your card but you know I just wanted to let you know that if you know somebody's gonna get it and they don't see very well you know sending them a card like this kind of be mean so, <laughs> you know just you know if you want it to be more obvious just pop it up a little bit higher so you'd go on to do four or five layers and I just love how it turned out I absolutely loved it I use the Alta New Peony Bouquet for the flowers and as well as for this flower here and I use my Memento Summer Sky ink to put a decoration on the inside of the card I've been really trying to do that with especially these floral cards that I've been making lately I just think it really adds a sweet touch to them 
and I don't know, it's just, you don't expect to see the, the design from the front carried through, so I think it makes it a little more special. And so I'm just lining these up and putting them along the edge. And because I have a little extra space at the bottom, I went ahead and did a fourth one that did not stamp all the way onto the card, so it looks like it was cut you know, and the cardstock was cut and the paper was like that already. So I really liked how it turned out. I was real happy. And, and there we go. I'm going to go back in and I'm thinking I'm done and I'm not going, I'm going to go back in and put one more right there at the bottom where I've got that little spot. Cause that's going to, that, I knew that would drive me crazy. If I didn't see, it would have driven me crazy if I didn't fix it. And, um, so I'm just putting the last image on and then we're going to move on to the envelope which I made with my envelope punch board and it's nothing fancy but I am using a stamp or a stamp set called it's from Simon Says Stamps and it's envelopes greetings and so there it is and I'm just using my black ink to go over the top of it and at one point I lay it down on there and I think oh, you know when I watched the video I was like oh my gosh why did I lay it down I didn't lay it down the right way. I had it upside down. I just panicked for a second. But it's just something that, you know, adds a little, you know, touch of whimsy and sweetness and just lets people know that you love them and hopefully makes the mail carrier's day a little better too. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Bye.